What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. What up? We got the Lit Clan, at least some of the Lit Clan. And we're gonna be watching Halloween. Hey, what's up guys? It's Ray's World TV <laughs> in this bitch. And guess what? We're watching Halloween, motherfuckers! <laughs> Sorry, I'm really hyped. Say. We're all pretty this fucking hyped for this movie. I'm in a review video. Really now? Yeah. So, unfortunately due to YouTube's guidelines, and copyright laws, you won't be seeing any of the movie on this video. <laughs> but we're gonna go see it, and then after the movie, we're gonna review it. Any questions? <laughs> I have no questions until after the movie. I think I think Ray is just died right. in the back seat. <laughs> Quack! <laughs> oh, there's the space dock. <laughs> But no, seriously guys, I have high hopes for this movie, it got really good reviews, and hopefully, hopefully, it's as good as the reviews say. I think it's gonna be good. Alright, so we'll see you in a few minutes. Subscribe! So, we just got out of seeing Halloween. What'd you guys think? I think it was pretty good. Especially if you're into the classics. <laughs> For dramatic effect. <laughs> so, brief little side story. In the theater, I asked both Joe and Fudo what they thought about the movie real quick. And they and I said, I'll give my opinion in the car when we after we see it. And honestly speaking, it is the most perfect fucking retcon. You literally saved the Halloween series. I went from going, eh, not really caring about it, to loving it. This yep. movie does such a good job. And one of the, uh, there's so many things I loved about it, but one of the major things I really loved about the movie, it didn't focus on jump scares. Granted, I'm older, I don't really get scared and of horror movies, but like this movie put fear into you without you know shadow twists that they usually do in new movies now these days you know again jump scares you know it really focused on a lot of classic traditions in horror movies and it was just downright perfect even though there were some points i was like god i want this guy to die <laughs> <laughs> to me it was a perfect horror movie retcon and oh my god, I just, I loved it. I, I have no complaints about the movie at all right now. I really don't. That's shocking to say, because you usually have a complaint about everything. I know, I do. I, I thought you he's the most cynical, he is player. the most cynical fuck we all know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Fuda, you're, uh... I don't know what this is. Basically what he said. You fucking cop out. <laughs> I'm the worst at talking. Joe, go. At least I'm all in right. this video, right? Out of a lot of horror movies that I've seen, I'm not necessarily saying I'm the biggest movie buff. I've seen a lot of movies, I've seen a lot of horror movies. That movie was absolutely fucking perfect. It was. Again, as Reyes stated before, they didn't rely on jump scares. I think there was all of maybe one real one jump, jump scare. scare that I can consider, like, which was when... Well, we can't say what it is. Yeah, we, we don't want to spoil anything. Spoil I w if anything... There is a yeah. post... Credit scene. Oh yes, Yo, there is a post-credit scene. So stay for the end of the credits, and we'll read your hate <laughs> comments afterward. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously though, seriously though, there is a post-credit. There is scene. a post-credit scene. I, I, you know, again, we're, we're joking, saying that you'll hate it, but realistically, when you stay for the post-credit scene, it's so good, and they really do an excellent job with it. And again, I don't want to spoil it. I really don't, but it's so good. Stay tuned for that if you watch this in theaters. You don't want to miss it. Definitely go definitely go and check it out if you're a big horror movie fan. Again, I had seen a, basically all the Halloween movies. Yeah, I just like how it felt like a classic movie. And I love how you just cut Halloween me off. <laughs> you know, I think I did it! I didn't speak! Now you You are. had your opportunity! <laughs> no, no, but anyway, in all seriousness, I've seen the, all the, the Halloween movies. And they were okay as far as like going back retro wise, mm -hmm. but this one did a fantastic job as far as capturing Michael Myers 
and continuing on the story from where it left off. And I'm pretty sure his kill count went up. <laughs> his kill count definitely went up. Oh my god. There were some scenes in the movie that was like, what? <laughs> but like, not what and like, what the fuck's going on? More like, what? Like, I can't believe th he actually did that, like, on screen. Like, there was so many things that really push Michael to the edge. And like, again, this is 40 years after the first Halloween. Yeah, this, is, this is 40 years in waiting. Yep. So when you watch this movie, you have to think about all the tension and rage Michael has. And like, it really shows. It really does. And like, everyone was perfect. It was just a solid movie. And I'll say this, I'll <clears> say <throat> this without spoilers. Usually when you watch horror movies and you have teenagers in it it tends to be really shitty and they're just really cringy in this movie it actually felt like an actual like high school experience if i could say that like i there was even some points where like the the people like the two friends in the beginning they were like um having fun and goofing off and stuff like that kind of reminded me and joe when we were in high school how yeah. we would goof off so like i mean we still goof off now of course <laughs> but like that in high school it, it just brought me back to when i was in high school and i was just like dude like they nailed all these scenes like i again i have no complaints about the movie but i wanted to specify that because usually when you see teenagers inside movies it, it tends to be a little cringy yeah but for this one like it was just you know it was so per i again i don't want to spoil it but it's so perfect watch this could like be like the subtitle like hollow review <laughs> parentheses <laughs> i don't want to spoil it because yeah. <laughs> that's all i'm saying because it's so hard because i want people to watch this movie and especially me and fuda were horror buffs like yeah. we non-stop watch horror movies actually i think the last horror movie me and you went and saw was uh, it was it i think it was it yeah. the one me and you went to or was it and krampus no krampus was before it yeah it was way before oh, it. it was so way before it the, oh yeah we did see it but, know, that was like the second time I yeah. seen it. No, but in all seriousness, Halloween definitely go and yeah. see it. If you're a horror, if you're a horror fan, if you're a fan of the Halloween series, check it out. For so sure. let's, I guess, end this on um, our ratings. Ratings. <laughs> all right. Playing. I want you two to give your ratings because I have to think of mine real quick. All right. Uh, I guess we'll do this out of ten. Yeah, yeah, out of ten. Easier. I would give it at least a solid eight and a half, nine out of ten. I would say nine out of ten. Yeah, nine. I give it a nine. I give it a ten out of ten. That's how much I fucking love this movie. Why did I see that coming? <laughs> Dude, I have no complaints. Like, it's very, very rare when I have no complaints it about is, a horror movie. It is, actually, that is absolutely fucking rare. Like, if you check out his channel, you'll see him bitching about <laughs> a lot of shit. It's a great movie, alright? It's right? a fantastic movie. Definitely go and check mm -hmm. it out. And in closing, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, subscribe to Race World TV, subscribe to Brutal Gunplay, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bang, bang, bitch! <laughs>